Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell by the title, in today's video, we are going to be doing an ultimate microphone comparison, looking at the best microphones for singing in a home studio setup, ranging from $500 all the way down to $20. One, two, one, two. Okay, so this is what it sounds like when I talk through the $20 newer NW800 condenser microphone. This is what it sounds like when I talk through the $70 Tone Q9 USB microphone. So this is what it sounds like when I talk through the $99 Audio Technica AT2020 condenser microphone. This is what it sounds like when I talk through the $99 Shure SM58 dynamic microphone. So this is what it sounds like when I talk through the $250 Rode NT1A condenser microphone. This is what it sounds like when I talk through the $399 Shure SM7B with an additional $150 cloud lifter to amp up the sound. Yeah. Oh. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toss to the ones here today Toss to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your there's a time when I remember When I didn't feel no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same Now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name But I can't reach out and call you But I know I will one day Cause Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday hey, hey. Everything will be alright Go and grab a glass and say hey, Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toss to the ones here today Toss to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back you do 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 do, 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 do. Memories bring back, memories bring back you do, 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 Memories bring back, memories bring back you So when looking at the newer NW800, this microphone I got for only $20. It's around $25, $30 now, but I must say an XLR microphone, obviously it does need an audio interface, but for only 25 bucks, this is a great start for anybody just looking to get a microphone and get started in a home studio setup. In terms of build quality, it is quite plasticky and it's not gonna last a very long time to be honest. Maybe here, if you take really good care of it, maybe two years. And in terms of frequency response, it's very much on the high end, very tinny, not a lot of low end at all, but for 20, 25 bucks, a great, great microphone. When looking at the Tona Q9, we're looking at a microphone that's around 60, 70 dollars, and the nicest feature about this microphone is that it's all USB plug in and play, and it doesn't need an audio interface, where XLR microphones need an audio interface, and you need the extra money to buy that. In terms of the build quality of this microphone, I must say the grill is a little bit plasticky, but the bottom here is aluminium steel and could definitely last you around two or three years if you take really good care of this microphone. In terms of the frequency range of this microphone, it's got a really good low end which I didn't expect this microphone to have, but it doesn't have that clear high end pickup that a condenser XLR microphone has. And I must say you can hear that when I sing through it, but when you talk through it, it's quite good. So for vocal singing, it's not the greatest microphone, but for podcasting and doing voiceovers it's a really really good microphone to go for for only 60 70 dollars when looking at the Shure SM58 we're looking at the most popular microphone amongst vocalists and singers for the last 20 30 40 years and the reason it's so good is because it can cover 
everything from live performances to in the studio. It doesn't need an audio interface, which means you save money on that. And for $99, the build quality of this microphone is exceptional. It is solid steel. It doesn't have any features which usually break after years, which means a microphone like this can easily last you five, 10, even 20 years if you really take good care of it. And in terms of frequency range, because it's so good in terms of live performances and in the studio, it covers your low end well and it covers your high end well and it gives you a really good warm sound. Yes, it doesn't have the high end of a condenser microphone in the studio, but it can't have that because it's also for live performances. But overall, you probably won't get a better microphone for $99. When looking at the Audio Technica AT2020, we're looking at a microphone that costs $99 and it's probably the best $99 condenser microphone in the world. Reason being that it's sold over 4,000 purchases on Amazon and I've used this microphone personally for over four or five years now, recording vocals, guitar, podcasting, voiceovers, it does everything. In terms of build quality, this microphone is solid. It's got a steel frame all the way around. It's got no features that could break or anything like that. So it will definitely last you five, 10, maybe even 15 years if you take good care of this product. And in terms of frequency range, it is a little bit more on the high end, but you won't get more low end in a condenser microphone at $99. So it's definitely a microphone I would go for. When looking at the Rode NT1A, we're looking at a microphone that's around $250 and there is a vocal bundle that you can buy for $280 that includes a shock mount and a cable and a pop filter. But I must say this microphone is great for $250. It's lasted me over eight years now and the reason it's lasted me that long is because of its really good build quality. It has a solid aluminium case. It doesn't have any buttons and features that can break. It's simple plug in and play and ready to go. In terms of frequency range, it's not that much different to the Audio Technica, which is a little bit of a downfall because you are paying $150 more but overall it's got a good high end it's got a decent low end but I must say for $250 you can never go wrong with the Rode NT1A. And moving on to the final microphone of this comparison my most expensive microphone and the microphone I use the most the Shure SM7B. This microphone is exceptional. Its biggest downfall is that it does need a cloud lifter to amp up the sound, which means a $400 microphone does become $550, which was a little bit of a downfall for me. But other than that, this is a really, really good buy and definitely a microphone that's value for money. In terms of build quality, it's solid. It has a steel casing. The winch that it bends on is really good quality. You feel that it's not gonna break after a while. And it's definitely a microphone that will last you 10 to 20 years easily easily if you take good care of it. In terms of frequency range, it's definitely the best by far. It's got that warm sound that you want on the low end and also has a nice high end. Nothing is too much and that's what this Shure SM7B does so well at its price point. So many big artists like Ed Sheeran, they all use this microphone when they're on the road recording songs and stuff like that because it's got such good build quality that it won't break but it also gives you the great warm sound that you want in a vocal. And I must say overall for the money, you will not get a better microphone than the Shure SM7B. So that's the end of this video of the ultimate microphone comparison for vocalists that are singing in a home studio setup. And if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below and I will see you for another video next time.